Ready for induction. Straight out of Narawahia. Here's Mario. Hello, Mario's daily vlog number 665. 2019 induction number one. Wednesday, February the 13th, 2019. Hello, hello. Hi, 3.5. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, this is actually the story at the end of the day, but this is how we set up for uh, day one of the 2019 induction today. This is what the students would have seen as they came in the door. And, uh, well, that little whiteboard that you can see at the end of them uh, directed some other students somewhere else. But this is a photo that I took at the end of the day. It's been a busy, busy day. Um, yeah, the, the students came. We had quite a, quite a good number, maybe three groups of um, somewhere between, uh, well, maybe so 15 and one and 22 and another maybe and perhaps another 20 and another. So yeah, around about 50 to 60, um, which was, was good. And uh, well, I was busy all day, mostly focusing on the, uh, I hung around the uh, scavenger hunt. Uh, it's quite an interesting scavenger hunt. We give them eight locations around the campus, eight locations and eight scenarios that they have to enact at any at one scenario at one location. So there's a zombie cop a, 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 a zombie apocalypse, um, kiwi um, typical kiwi. Um, the um, an iconic film, um, a sort of moment in history, sort of thing, and they have to enact uh, the each uh, scene at uh, one of the sites. So, or at one of the sites, they have to enact one of these scenes. It's, it's quite good. Some of the stuff they come up with, um, you know, the uh, man landing on the moon, the Titanic's very popular as a, a movie. Um, and, and, and that sort of thing. So it's, um, yeah, a good bit of fun. Uh, oh, they have to do a human pyramid at one. Um, pirate uh, pirate day at another. And, yeah, so that's all. I haven't committed them all to memory. but it, So we just give them the slip of paper, and uh, they do, and then they upload all of the, um, the photos that they take. They upload them to a Facebook page, a closed group, and then we... We can, as they're going around doing it, things are reporting back to the Facebook page so we can see what they're doing. And yeah, it's good, quite good. So that's the scavenger hunt. Um, we did some health and safety. So we had three groups, health and safety and some, um, you know, signing up, logging in and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, it's a busy day. Another, another day tomorrow um, where I've got uh, my... Balloon car activity, which is um, just introducing people to the design process and some of the ways that we teach um, at, at Wintech, in case you didn't guess where we were. So yeah, yeah, yeah real busy day. And uh, we'll see that because the diary uh, tells the story. And here it is. So um, I went in, as I said, all day at the induction. On the way home, I popped into the warehouse to get some prizes um, to present tomorrow. I can't divulge what the prizes are in case there's uh, some of the students watching. So they're all good to go tomorrow. And then once I got home, I mowed a final bit of lawn. So the lawns are all done, all seven done there, as you can see. And that gave me 10,399 steps. That's a lot of steps for me. And I, I can feel it. I can feel that I've um, had a um, you know high stepping day. So that's awesome. Six six five two one nine induction day one. Um, we're going to have a question today about inductions, inductive theory. Uh, two seventy two on the where, what, who is uh, is aware. And uh, yes, yeah, so we had the induction and the scavenger hunt today. And then, uh, as I said, our health and safety and some um, Wintech systems 
type things going on with the group. So, uh, yeah, all, all good. And then I've got to make a video today, which will be a bit of a slideshow of all the photos from the scavenger hunt, which I'll have up uh, showing in the morning as the students arrive for day two. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Let's have a look at today's challenge. So this is um, related to inductive reasoning or types of inductive reasoning, which you can see there. Um, appeal to air ignorance, weak analogy, slippery slope, or hasty generalization. So every dog I've encountered has bit me. I've been around a lot of dogs, probably a hundred or so. All of them pit bulls. Therefore, the next time I see a dog, it will surely, surely bite me too. Now, which form of inductive reasoning is this? Is that an appeal to ignorance, a weak analogy, the slippery slope, or a hasty generalization? So, put your answer in the comments below the video. And, uh, hey, no harm in guessing. You've got a 1 in 25, one, a tw 1 in 4 chance of getting it right. So, if you're in there and you're made a comment you may as well have a, have a shot you know you might uh, might get yourself on the hall of fame or the first one in so uh yeah just give it a go no harm in trying all right hall of fame from yesterday and uh which basketball term is defined as the entire length of the court it's coast to coast and uh, moz put that into um a wonderful little um response there his comments are just iconic i'm sure that there's people that tune in every day just to see what moz's comments are so um thanks moz uh thanks for your marvelous support of uh mario's daily vlog thanks everybody for liking and subscribing commenting just ringing that little notification bell so you get know when the video comes out each day all of that marvellous stuff that you do to support my daily vlog. I appreciate it. I thank you very much. And, uh, well, I'm hoping that we'll see you again tomorrow. All good. Cheers. See you. Smash that like button. This has been a Mario presentation from our studio in Narawahia. That's in New Zealand. Way down there at the bottom of the globe. See you.